Hi and welcome to Professor Spectrum. Today I'm going to demonstrate an analysis on a range of samples using a portable XRF instrument. The samples we're going to use is a drill core with a flat surface, a hand specimen with a regular surface, a pulverised sample in a sample bag and a CRM. All these will produce accurate and reliable results. For the analysis today, we're going to be using a geo exploration calibration on the Bruker S1 Titan 800. The calibration will run for 60 seconds and accurately analyse magnesium through uranium. Now it's crucial to run the analysis for full recommended time. For example, if you're only analysing it for 20 seconds rather than 60 seconds, you will experience inaccurate results. For all analyses, you want to hold the instrument like this and make direct contact with the table. It is best at a 90 degree angle to the sample. Ensure your feet are not directly underneath if analysing on a table for radiation safety. When analysing pulp samples, for most accurate results, we encourage the use of a CRM cup. This of course is not always possible, so we will show you how to take an analysis with and without the cup. For the best results, you want the window in direct contact with the cup. In the stand, this is simple, as you do not need to touch the cup during the analysis. Ensure that when you are taking an analysis that the window stays in direct contact with the cup throughout the 60 seconds. If your hand moves and comes away from the sample, this will impact your results. If the instrument slips off the cup, press the trigger immediately and end the scan. Reset and take the analysis again. Best practice for taking an analysis of a pulp sample is to take the sample out of the bag and place it on a clean surface. You want to avoid analysing through a bag as a bag will also be included in the measurements and skew the results. It is crucial when analysing the pulp that you analyse enough sample as to ensure infinite thickness. Once you have analysed, grab a clean brush and dust off the excess before continuing. When analysing the pulp, it is even more important than with other sample types to utilise CRMs to monitor the contamination between scans and change the window when necessary. When sampling on a rough surface, it is more likely for the window to be pierced. To avoid this, try to choose an area that does not have any sharp edges. If this is possible, hold the instrument just above as to not pierce the window, but be aware that the quality of your data will be reduced due to the gap between the instrument and the scanned area. If the window is accidentally pierced, you would need to replace it immediately before the next scan to ensure your results are consistent and the instrument remains clean inside. So the key thing for taking good analysis is to have direct contact with the sample, having a clean, unpunctured window on the instrument and analysing it for the full recommended time. And that's how to correctly sample using a portable X-ray instrument. We hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to check out our other tutorial videos and if you have any questions, get in contact with us by using the link in the description below and check out our company's website. Subscribe to Professor Spectrum and for more videos like this, we'll see you next time.